the section has many awards that we present at these luncheons, but what we found was that we weren't able to give uh, individuals the uh, sort of the, the praise and the focus that we should. So we are starting today um, separating out our awards and we'll provide them and present them throughout the legal year. Uh, the two awards that are scheduled for today are the Reader Tatslitz Award and the Charles English Award. Unfortunately, our Charles English Award winner, Professor Ellen Yaroshevsky, is unable to be with us today. Uh, but Ellen will receive her award in Memphis at the spring meeting. So what does that mean? That means that our Reader Tatslitz Award winner, Mark Wojcik, is the center of attention and he is he's a little bit hesitant about that i told him because of the shortness of awards that we actually have lots of time for him to speak <laughs> and he has uh, suggested that he may elongate his remarks from one minute to five minutes so we'll see but just for background the raiders has its board is exceptionally important to this section this award is given to a law professor whose excellence in scholarship, teaching, community service has made a significant contribution to the promotion of public understanding of criminal justice, justice and fairness in the system, as well as best practices on the hearts of lawyers and judges. And anyone who knows Mark realizes that that is the epitome of his life's work. Mark. Uh, has been, uh, was the editor of the John Marshall Law Review and the competitor in the International Moot Court competitions after graduation. He clerked for judges on the Nebraska Supreme Court, the U.S. Court of International Trade. He practiced customs and international law in New York and served as the uh, court counsel for the Supreme Court of the Republic of Palau. Uh, Professor Wojcik uh, has taught and lectured in 11 countries. Uh, he holds leadership roles in numerous legal organizations and associations and uh, is serving as the diversity officer for the section of international law of the ABA. Uh, Professor Wojcik is the president-elect of Scribes. Uh, the Chicago Bar Association presented him with awards for outstanding service to the legal profession and for pro bono service. Uh, he's the author and co-author of numerous law review articles, book chapters, and books including the first case book on AIDS law, the first legal writing text uh, for non-native speakers of English, and Illinois legal research. Uh, Professor Wojcik joined the faculty at the University of Illinois Chicago Law School, formerly John Marshall Law School, uh, in 1992. Uh, he teaches law and skills, international criminal law, international human rights, international trade law, towards international law and human rights in a changing society. And most importantly, Mark has served for many years as the editor of the ABA Criminal Justice Section's State of Criminal Justice publication. He has been an immense, immense benefit to our membership. He has done so much and at the end of the day is an exceptionally good human being. So it is my distinct privilege and honor to present Mark with the Raider Tazlitz Award. My name is Mark Wojcik. I teach also criminal law at the University of Illinois Chicago. If any of you would like to be a guest in my class on Zoom in the coming semester, please let me know. I know we can always take a few minutes to, to learn about different practice areas and, and different voices. It's, uh, it's been one of the advantages of the COVID epidemic that we can have uh, speakers from, from around the, the world and around the country. When I first became a law professor 30 years ago, a colleague named Ron Smith, who was a former chair of this section, took me aside and said, I want to tell you something about your legal career. 
he, he described for me two meetings that he went to. One was a, a meeting of the Association of American Law Schools. And he said that he went in there and it was very interesting because people were talking about all of the latest developments that were happening in the law, in criminal, in criminal justice. But then he told me that he also went to an ABA criminal justice section meeting. And in that room, he, he, he heard about um, all of the people that were making those changes and what changes they were planning to do. And not just in retrospect what was happening, but what were they, what were they planning to do. Um, before Hamilton became a musical, he wanted to be in the room where it happened. <laughs> and he advised me to follow suit. So I've been an active member of the American Bar Association and its various sections for 30 years. For the past eight years, I've been the editor of the State of Criminal Justice. A wonderful publication. If you don't know it, it's, there's a copy of it outside on the desk. It's available in print and electronic form. The electronic form is new, and it allows you to um, research and click on the cases and pull up the cases right away. So it's really a nice, nice benefit to the electronic version of the, of the book. I see in this room many authors and editors of that publication. You might not know it yet, but um, any, anything that happened in the past year, you can write something about. The, the several subjects of General Gupta's speech, for example, there's probably five or six articles in there about the different innovations that she described. Kyo Su is here taking pictures and can advise you on how to get involved in the, in the publication directly. He's also one of the most amazing uh, staff members I've ever met in the ABA. I don't have enough nice things that, that I can. I don't, have enough, I don't have enough time to tell you all the things I want to tell you about Kyo, but he has really been the backbone of, of that publication and of my work in the section. And it's a great honor to see you here today. Um, I think we, 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 uh, we appreciate the ABA staff, but let's just give them all a, a big round of applause. <laughs> Thank you to everyone in the hallway for making this a, a, a great, con a great um, conference for us. The award that I received today is named for Myrna Rader and Andrew Teslitz. Myrna Rader was a um, former section chair who was um, also the editor of the State of Criminal Justice. And um, about eight years ago, she died. And um, somehow they found me to take over the editorial position uh, of the state of criminal justice, which she had been editing. So her her design, her handprints are all over the book, and it, every every edition that's come out has been with her in mind. Um, I have um, decided to step down from being editor uh, this year because I was uh, recently diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's in, is an incurable uh, neuropath neuropological, uh, pathogenic whatever, <laughs> disease that's characterized by shaking and, and things like that. Every, every person with PD has a different journey and, um, and it's not that I can't still do it, it's that I just need some time to step back and take care of things. Um, so uh, I'm happy to say that the, the, uh, the, the state of criminal justice is in good, head, good editorial hands for the next few years. And I really do urge you to, to be involved in it. Um, it's from my own journey. It's been good. I went to my doctor this week, and he said that I was measurably 30% better than the last time he saw me. So the, the therapy and the exercise is working. And I should be able to maintain this, this level of, of, of Parkinson's for some time, maybe 10 years, 20 years. Um, I'm public about the Parkinson's because I know that people in this room may have it, or know people that have it, or, or know people that will have it. And there's nothing to be ashamed about. It's not a stigma associated with the disease, but it's just part of uh, life. And it's helpful to know that sometimes I'm just gonna need a little more time to get stuff done. Um, thank you all for your love and support. If you don't know me um, already, let's fix that today. Thank you, everybody.